You know what, guys? I have difficulty talking. I, and you know it, right? I sometimes say the wrong word. I sometimes mispronounce words. And it's getting to be more frequent. And I think a lot of that has to do with the frequencies. I have read comments below. And there's an awful lot of people who are experiencing just what I described what I'm experiencing. But we're not we're not the leader of a national party. Nancy Pelosi has really proven herself to be somebody who is really not very bright and really not very articulate. How is it that this woman continues to be the minority leader of the Democratic Party in the United States. Listen to this. Uh, there's a commensurate bipartisan, a common sense bipartisan uh, path forward. And that would be Mike Thompson, who's of California, who's the ch a chair of our tax force, task force. I know if the, if the uh, comprehensive uh, bill came to the floor on background checks, it would win. So we're just saying to the we're just saying to the speaker, give us a vote. Just give us a vote. Just 13% would go to bonuses and raises. And once the tax scam is fully phased in, 6 million middle class families, excuse me, 86 million middle class families, after adding $2 trillion to the debt, Republicans are now saying, oh my gosh, that can't pay for itself. We've got to pay for it someplace else. So let's take $2 trillion out of Medicare. 500 billion out of Medicare, one and a half, excuse me, trillion, half a trillion dollars out of Medicare. Uh, I don't want to hurt on victims. <clears throat> They're having served in that White House for one year as a giant enhancement as they go out to the public sector, private sector, the private sector. <laughs> okay. Um, look, uh, uh, our. Are these people affected by the frequencies? Is Nancy Pelosi on a lot of medications? Because something is not right with her, but it hasn't been right for so many years. Californians, could you please retire this woman? Could we get rid of these people that have proven themselves not up for the job. We don't need leaders. I'm not, I, I, I would love to see government just <laughs> crumble. Forget about it. Let's go back to, you know, let's establish our communities the way we want to live them. I, I'm so done with government. I am so done with local, state, federal government. I'm so done with these people who are so sick and so twisted. I've got to get you a video. Hold on. I will link below to this video that I watched yesterday. It's only 7 minutes and 45 seconds. The name of the video is Jim Carrey is the Satanic High Priest in L.A. Now, I like evidence. I like facts. I don't even know who the person is who's talking in this video. But they're talking about the high priests and priestesses of these satanic... Uh, cults or uh, I can't remember verbatim but Nancy Pelosi it's Nancy Pelosi that is the high priestess in San Francisco now I don't think he says high priestess but it's Nancy Pelosi that is the high one <laughs> or in these crazy satanic you know oh I don't know these people are bona fide, batshit, crazy. And I do believe that this woman is really satanic. She's not well. She's not a good soul. There's something very, very disturbed about this woman. So, Californians, 
I think you're beginning to get that you need to retire Diane Feinstein. You really need to go to this woman's office, if you can stomach it, and grab her by the arm and, like, rip her out of the office. And then slam the door. Well, before you slam the door, tell her, don't come back here. We're through. And then slam the door. These people are bringing us all down. But the damage that these people have done to California has been phenomenal. I'll link below to this video. Tell me what you think. Frankly, and I cannot say definitively, but listening to this guy talk about all of these people, it just struck me as true.